Hello, Barry here again, and welcome to Exercise 4.1, where we are going to practice a mission centre and acronym And first. Here we go. Marchers lose their heads over bowmen. Marchers lose their heads over bowmen. Seven spaces with two R's. Okay, over to you. Have a go, go away, solve it, and come back with smiles on your faces that you've solved it. And just see what I said then. Okay. Right, are we back again? Let's look at it. Marchers lose their heads over Bowman. Lose looks to me like an omission flag. So I'm going to put that down. I think that could well be right. And lose their heads Lose, this is what they're going to lose. So that's the fodder. They're losing their heads. That's your fodder. Okay. So, over, over. Is that a charade? Hmm, could be. Could be a charade flag. Could be. Of course, you don't need a flag for charade. It's just a charade. May not be, even be there. All right. Okay. So, having got that down, lose their heads. I'm, I said the heads are fodder. Didn't come up as a fodder. Should be a fodder. There should be a square bracket. Or it could be the whole thing. Their heads, of course. Lose their heads. Yeah, I think that's probably a bit more sensible. Lose their heads, the whole thing. Okay. Right, so, doesn't help you find the key, of course. It's right in the middle of that flag. Anyway, we'll have to go, marches, is that a key? Marches, what are marches? Uh, bands, uh, soldiers, uh, seven letters, which are, try this in. Bowmen, what are bowmen? Bowmen are, oh, they're archers, of course it is. They are, done, we've got it. Archers are bowmen. And that's what you should do, go straight to finding your key. Once you've picked up these flags, go and find your keys. And uh, that's it, arches. Can we prove it? Yes, of course we can. Look at that. Look, if marchers lose their heads, well, marchers losing their heads, what are they going to lose? They're going to lose the M, aren't they? If marchers lose the M, what are you left with? Arches. That's simply an omission. Done. All right. Now, some would say, Hey, hang on, why isn't that a hidden? Because there's arches, is hidden there. Yeah, you can call it a hidden if you like. Why do I go omission? Simply because the flag is an omission flag. So that's to me, is why we start there, okay? Okay, it's proved. Now, it looks like I've got some words of wisdom here. <laughs> well, I've got some words anyway. Let's see what we said down here. Must have said something. A mission reveals arches as the answer. So I call it a mission trick. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Not a hidden trick, but it could be either. Depends what you see. You know, say so you mightn't even see the flag and you just pick it up as being a hidden. And you hit it hidden, and that's fair enough. No one's testing you on what you write down. But of course, don't mention both. Don't mention a mission and hidden. That's superfluous. Okay, next one. Limp support for first. British airship. Away you go. Oh, ah, sorry. And now, how'd you go? Did you uh, get that worked out? All right. Hang on a tick. So, let's see what we've got in the clue. Limp support. Support. Is that a, is that a charade flag? It could well be. Support, yeah, it could be a charade. One word supporting the other word. Could be a charade. Uh, oh, first looks like to me definitely going to, well, I can't, mustn't say definitely, going to be a possible acronym or first flag. And uh, that's all there is there. Okay, where's the key? Let's go for the key. First thing, try for your key. Limp. What's limp? Feeble? Uh, weak? Bendy? Oh, I'll go the other end. Airship. What's airship? Ah, oh, I think we've got an answer. An airship, the old airships. Remember the Hindenburg? The airship is a, we all know that. An airship is a blimp. 
So they reckon that's the key. All right, there's a blimp. Done. Blimp. Prove it. Well, there's a limp. You can see a limp in there. Needs a B. Well, first British. All oh, end of story. It's all done. There's your, there's your fodder, and there's your fodder British. And you're going to take the B, and the limp's going to support that B. There it is. All done. Proved it. Easy peasy. Okay, limp is a support, limp here is a support for the B, the first British. Okay, and there it is. It's simply a, uh, a first and a charade. Okay, next one. Considered half this composition tough. Considered half this composition tough. Two star and uh, seven spaces. Starting with the T. Over to you. See what you can do. Right? Okay. Here we go again. Let's see. Considered half this half looks like an omission flag. You're going to take half of some word or, or words. Uh, it could be half this. could be half considered. Uh, composi oh, composition. Is that going to be an anagram flag? It could be. Could be a you know, composition, re you really, really recomposing something. It could be an anagram flag. Don't know. Go for the key, then we'll find out. Right, considered. Considered. Seven letters. Give me a synonym for considered. He considered, he, uh, well, he thought. There it is. Got it. We've got an answer. He thought. Okay. Can we, so that's, I reckon, is going to be the key at this stage, unless we think we can't prove it. Now, uh, can we prove it? Half this. Well, there's half this there, TH. So, half this, and tough is, oh yeah, there it is. Tough's the other fodder. We have a, we're going to have an omission, and we're going to have uh, a charade and an anagram, looks like. Right. So here we go. Half this, there's your half this. So there's your omission. And uh, tough, you combine those two together with a charade, this uh, TH and tough. But once you get TH and tough, notice the tough is back to front. Well, not back to front, it's just anagrammed. So you've got to have the anagram as well. So omission, charade, and anagram. And you've got your answer. Okay, you happy with that? Right, next one. Some jump at her course of action. Only four letters with an H given. Easy peasy. Over to you. Okay, did you come back smiling? <laughs> right. Some jump at her course of action. Uh, some looks like being an emission flag to me. Uh... Nothing else there. So, let's see. Key. Well, there's the flag there. I reckon this ends the key. Action. Course of action. Action method. Course of action. It could go either way. Course of action. We'll try a course of action. Course of action. I mean, if it's not, if it's too much, we just cut it out and get back to the action. Course of action. What's a course of action? A course of action is a, uh, a method or a way. Uh, uh, I'm looking at this here. <laughs> I'm cheating, aren't I? I'm looking at this here. I can see past there. <laughs> okay. All right. And that's what you can do too. You can get a hint. That's the advantage of having these flags up there. You can you can get a hint. <laughs> and, yeah, that's, that's okay though, nothing wrong with that. So, I can see it there, a mission flag, knowing it's a mission, I just happened to glance up there and, to get some inspiration, and uh, I got it, there it is, path, P-A-T-H, there's the path, and that's the, that's the uh, part that's left, path, it's a hidden, well, you could say it's a hidden if you didn't see the flag, but knowing it's a flag there, I'd say that's an omission. 
No anagramming, just straight out omission. Okay, done. End of story. Right, our next one. Last one in this group. Started off as decidedly economical, neat industrial material. Five spaces with an I given. Over to you. Right, did you come back smiling? Okay, here we go. Started off as decidedly economical, neat industrial material. And there are flags, flags, flags. Started off. Started or started off? Ooh, either way, I'll try start it off first. If it's not the off, we can always get rid of it. I reckon that's going to be a flag. Now, start it off. Where's the key? Well, if that's the flag, the key is down here. Material? Material? Linen? Cotton? Wool? Could be industrial material too. Could be industrial material. Well, what's an industrial material? Canvas, uh, four space, four spaces with an I, five spaces with an I, and oh, I think it's industrial. I've just got an answer for industrial material because I can see this started off. I'm cheating again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Started off D. I can see a D here. D E N I M. Uh, I know I cheated. That's all right. You can. That's what. That's what the game's all about. You get all the help you can. I can see a denim in there. So, there we go, here we go, uh, yeah, that's where it starts to D. So, there it is, it's an acronym, because we have the first letters, we have the D, and then the E, N, I, M, denim, acronym, we've proved the answer's correct, what more would we want? Done. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. I've got another words, more words of wisdom down here. What are these words of wisdom up here? We have, what do you think they are? <laughs> words of wisdom. But they're words anyway. Fodder includes the two-word key. It does. It, oh, I didn't underline it, did I? Industrial material. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the point, of course, that the, uh, the fodder includes the key. Now, that can happen. Look, they, the, the compilers can do what they like in that respect. If they wish to put to use the fodder, part of the fodder as the key, they're quite entitled to do it. So that can happen. That's what that's about. Yes, interesting. Okay, right, the next one will be another exercise, and we'll do that shortly. Thank you.